Hi, I'm Sana, and I'll be showing you how to use the CCD camera here at the Allen I. Carswell Observatory. We use the SBIG STXL 6303 CCD camera, and to control it, we use the software the Sky 10 or the Sky X. It can be found at the top of the desktop right here, or it can also be in the taskbar below here. So you'll just want to open that up. Now, when you come, when you log on to the Sky 10, you'll be in the camera tab right here, and it'll tell you at first the status of the camera is not connected because you're not connected to the camera yet. So what you'll do is you'll hit the connect button right here, and if the camera is on, which it will be, the technicians will have turned that on for you ahead of time, then the camera will connect and these two windows will come up. You can just minimize those. And now the status says ready. So now you are have connected to the camera and you can image with it. Before you image or do anything, the very first thing that you want to do is set up the temperature control. So you just click right here, temp setup, and then this window will open. Right now the temperature regulation is set to off, so you need to click on. And then you want to set your temperature set point, which is going to be about 30 degrees Celsius below ambient. It's currently set to minus 20 degrees, so we can leave that and you just click OK. Now, if you look over here, the set point is at minus 20 degrees or about minus 20 degrees Celsius. And that, and then right beside that, you have the actual temperature of the camera, which is currently at about 13 degrees Celsius. So before you do any imaging, you need to wait until the temperature of the camera has gone to your set point. And usually that takes about 10 minutes for it to get there and to stabilize. So make sure to wait about 10 minutes after setting the temperature and after it's stabilized to take any images. So in this camera tab, you have three other tabs here. You have take photo, focus tools, and take series. The take photo tab will just take a simple exposure and it won't be saved. So what you can do here is you can set your exposure time. So for example, if we just do a one second exposure and then you hit take photo right here, what it'll do is it'll first of all select the filter, which we'll talk about in a second. And then it tells you that it's exposing the light and now it's downloading the light. And each time there's a progress bar that tells you how far along it is in taking and taking the picture and downloading it. And then this other tab will pop up once your image is taken that just shows you what the picture looks like. So the dome isn't open. We're not actually looking at anything right now. So this is just a random image here. But the point is that whatever picture you have will pop up in this window. Remember, these pictures are not saved. These are only for purposes of figuring out where you are. So don't take any important pictures in be in this tab here. So you can just close this. The next tab that you have is the focus tools tab. Again, this tab is not going to save your photos at all. So you would mainly be using this when you first uh, open up the telescope and you want to see where you are, make sure that your star field is correct. You'll open this up and then you can take photos in this tab just to before you take your actual series of pictures. So similarly with, with the take photo tab, you have your exposure time that you can just set that here. So if I set this to one second again, then you can take photo and it'll take a one second exposure for you. But you also have a couple other settings in here. So first of all is the binning. You wanna make sure that your binning is set to two by two bins. Then your frame, there are several kinds of frames that you can take, your light images, which are the pictures of your object, or you have calibration frames, bias, dark, and flat field, you won't be taking darks. So you can just set it, for example, to bias or to a flat field, and then take photo. And this time when it's taking the photos, it's not just gonna take one, it's going to take a series of pictures that will just keep popping up here. This will keep refreshing with your new pictures. So as you can see, the image will change slightly as it keeps taking them. The important thing here to remember is make sure that reduction is set to none. Sometimes if you're scrolling here, it could change that. So just make sure that you keep reduction set to none so it's not 
doing anything to your, to your picture. Um, and then again, this is just to figure out where you are in the star field and to make sure that you're looking at the right thing. So once you've done that and you're confident with where you're pointing and that your images are good, you can just hit abort and it will stop taking the series of photos. Finally, the last tab that you have is the take series tab. This is where you're going to be taking your images. So you, the, before you take any images, you want to make sure that you're saving them to the right spot. So this auto save tab is found in a few different places. It's in take photo, it's in focus tools as well. And then it's also in the bottom half of take series. You can click the auto save tab and then this will come up. So what you want to do is save this to a good file location so it's easy for you to access. You don't want to put it in some weird part of the computer that you won't remember where it is. There's directories set up on the desktop. So for 2070, for 3070, and for 4270. So if you're in 4070, you'll click on the 4070 or 4270 section, click new folder, and then the recommended way to save these is based off of the date. So you put the year 2020, month 09, so for, for us today, and we are the 15th today. So we put 15, and since a lot of you are gonna be here at night, or if some of them you'll be observing possibly overnight, you just want to add the next date, the day of the next date as well. So you'll select this folder, and that's where it will save it. Always make sure that automatically save photos is checked. If it's not, it will take pictures and not save them, which is you obviously don't want. You want to bring this sequence number down to one. And then the file name prefix, you'll set that as the name of your object. So if you're observing, say, the Crab Nebula, you can just put M1. And all this here, right here, shows you an example of how it will save the file name. So there's your file name prefix. It'll tell you what filter you're saved in, your light images or flat or bias images. And then it even has the exposure in here as well. So then you just click OK. And that will save it to the correct folder. The other thing that happens in the Take Series tab is you can set everything that you need in here. So the exposure time, you'll be setting this in seconds. So if you want to take a bunch of one second exposures, you can just put one second in there. Make sure that the binning is set to two by two. Then again, the frame here, you can set to different calibration frames. Filter, you will, none of you will be observing with the ND2 filter. So you'll either be observing with the red, green, or blue. So we can just set this to red. And then how many times you want to repeat the image. So let's, as an example, take a series of 10 bias images. We'll just put 10 in there and select bias in here and take series. Bias images are by default zero second exposures. So regardless of what exposure time you have in here, it will just take a zero second exposure. It's taking a series of 10. And if at any point during this series you want to stop taking photos, you can just hit the abort button and that will stop the series. So it's continuing to take bias frames that are all just showing up here. And it tells you in the progress bar how many images are left that it has to take. Right. So now if you have to use different filters for your imaging, you'll go over into the filter wheel tab. You can set the filter here, of course, but then there's also another place that you can set it over here if you want to in focus to take images and focus tools. There's no option to set filters, so you have to come over to filter wheel. The camera is by default connected to the correct filter wheel, so you don't need to change any of that. The only thing that you need to do is select the right filter. It'll tell you what filter it's currently at. So it was at the red filter, so that's where it's currently set. So you can just click on the red there and go to visible or green or to the blue filter and just hit move now. It'll tell you at the status there that it's moving the filter. So you just have to give it a second. 
and then it's ready and you can go back to camera and to focus tools and take any pictures that you want. Okay, so that is the CCD operations at the Allen Eichars Observatory and there are other videos on how to operate the telescope.